Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying out the Dollar Tree vinyl so that you don't have to. And today I am going to be testing them on Starbucks cups as well as the clear skinny tumblers. Alright, so I'm cutting these out on the silhouette and I'm going to do just words pretty much. So I'm going to do Boss Babe on the skinny tumbler and Boss Babe on the Starbucks cup. I know that the Dollar Tree vinyl weeds out pretty good so I'm not too worried about that. So you see, it weeds out pretty easily. It feels really cheap though, I'll tell you that. So I use like this same type of color. It's um like an iridescent opal type of color. Or not iridescent. Um, dang it, what is the name of this? Maybe iridescent. Oh, holographic. There you go. It's like an, a holographic opal color. And the difference between both vinyls, I can already feel it. This one is very, very cheap. It's very thin. And it just, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels very, very cheap. So I got it weeded. And it's, I mean, it's easy to weed. There's no problems there. All right, I have some transfer tape here. And I'm just going to use that to pick up. Um, the lettering or the vinyl piece okay I picked it up really well so no problems there I've already prepped the cup and the tumbler so I'm gonna go ahead and do the Starbucks cup first for the moment of truth. Oh man, it didn't stick on at all. Let's try the other side. Nope, same thing. The adhesive just isn't strong enough to stay on the cup. All right, we'll put that to the side and I'm gonna try the other one. Moment of truth for this one. Oh, this one's much better. I guess it's just the material. This one stayed on. And it was nicely too, like it didn't give me any issues whatsoever. I really like that, look how pretty that is. So the Starbucks cup, that was a fail. And it's just because of the material of this one. So what I was trying to do was do it manually. And what that means is just um, start to peel it and then keep the vinyl down like that. So let me try it on the other one because this, this one already ripped. See that ripped. So I was trying to do it this way where you like lift a piece of tape and then kind of just stick the vinyl onto the cup a little bit, like expose it a little bit. See, like that? And then just use your other finger to hold it down. Kind of forcing it on the cup. So if you do it that way, it's sticking, you see? It's, oh my goodness, it broke. It sticks, but look, it broke off. Okay, final thoughts. Starbucks cup obviously did not work, so I wouldn't recommend to use it on the Starbucks cup. Of course, it's up to you whether you want to try or not, but I just feel like the quality isn't there. The adhesive isn't there. And I've had this in the past too. When I did it for the sign, the adhesive just wasn't there. Now, for the skinny tumblers, even though it stayed on and there was no problem adhering to the tumbler itself, I feel like it would not be good quality. I feel like it would not be long lasting, especially when you get it wet or wash it or whatever. And yeah, you can tell somebody not to put it in the dishwasher and not to scrub it, but there's going to be people out there that forget or just don't listen. So it definitely will peel off, especially if it goes through something rough like that, because the vinyl itself is so thin. I've worked with so many different types of vinyl throughout many, many years, and this is just so thin. I haven't come across a vinyl that is this thin. So yeah, I just, I wouldn't trust it for you to sell. 
for it to be professional for your business or for your name or your brand if you want to use it for personal use then it shouldn't be a problem you know because it's it's yours and if it peels whatever it, you can remake it but for selling selling this to a customer it just the quality just isn't there but once again it's up to you if you guys want to try it yourself i mean by all means just go for it but i personally wouldn't use this to sell to other people maybe it might work as a gift just depends on your relationship with the person but yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful i hope it gave you the answers that you were looking for when you clicked on this video if you have any questions any comments any tips any tricks any of that stuff make sure to leave it in the comments down below i would love to hear from you thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you for watching thank you for your support all the things and i'll talk to you guys next time bye